Um, my name is Robert Mass, but there's a lot of familiar faces. Everyone knows everyone in the room, which is great to see. Um, I want to thank all of you for taking time out of your day and uh, allowing us the opportunity to introduce our project, bringing a Boys and Girls Club to St. Cloud. Uh, Raylan, I get a phone call about a year ago now. Raylan said, Robert, he says, I want to bring a Boys and Girls Club to St. Cloud. She said, well, would you be willing to help me? She didn't have to ask me twice because the, the Boys and Girls Club brand speaks for itself. Um, you know, they offer support and mentorship uh, for our youth to help build responsible adults. And we definitely need that in today's world. Hey, that. I want everybody to take a look around this room. Look at the people sitting at your table. Look at the people at the next table. Look at the folks across the room. Nobody is here today by accident. The Lord has placed it on somebody's heart to invite each individual that's sitting here today. So he's got a he's got a job for us to do, and we can do it. Now I looked at the data before the pandemic, and honestly, if you look at primarily African American and minority children, only about 30 to 35 percent of them read at grade level. Now think about that. Think about that because the data shows, research shows, if you don't read at grade level by grade three or four, you don't have much upside. So I know as an organization, we are investing in literacy in a big way. We've got a couple of grants to fund that. Uh, because we think if we don't get that right, the rest of it may not be as important, right? So it's always about value, but we also have to develop the cognitive skills, the critical skills, uh, and, and lay that foundation. Now many of you have had children, and they've grown up, and they're probably great kids, and they've probably got great families. We take it as a very natural event. My wife grew up in public housing. She didn't have anything either. So our opportunity in this great land and what has me here today is because of the Boys and Girls Club. So I just wanna thank you uh, for making the time investment and those of you who are making financial investments. And I will just ask that you do this. If you have an opportunity to love a child that's not yours, a mentor, please do so. You can help financially. If you have the opportunity to spread the good word to somebody else and say, hey, we need your help with this, please do so. It is so exciting that we have the opportunity to, to give to this and to help kids because that's the whole goal. So, so I just want to share where we are. Boys and Girls Club, they're very fiscally responsible. They're, they're a well-run organization. You know, we could have had some kind of a club on our own but I, it was the Boys and Girls Club that they've, they've been there, they've done it, and they have a heart for children. So in order to open a club, they require three years operating expenses. So those operating expenses are approximately $200,000 a year. So we need $600,000 to open the door. Now, this is our first big fundraiser. So we've already raised, prior to this event, about $175,000. <laughs> so, so people are behind this because the children, we know that. I'm preaching to the choir. We know that the kids are our future.